and an American brewery's take on a classic premium lager. It's beer o'clock and from Grand Rapids, Michigan, we have a can of Founders Solid Gold Premium Lager coming in at 4.4% ABV. Now then, um, a little bit about Founders. Um, it first surfaced in 1997 um, with their, the co-founders, which was Mike Stevens and Dave Engbers. Um, and they opened up this, the, the doors to a, a 9,800 square foot brewery in downtown Grand Rapids, Michigan. And they've, um, they've just gone from strength to strength, basically. Um, you know, a lot of you are going to... Uh, a lot of people sort of think of founders for the KBS stouts and your yeah, backward bastard and and things like that is is what um, they're quite sort of famous for, but they do other stuff well as well. And this is to say their their take on a premium lager. So they sort of looked at you know American premium lagers and thought oh, well, we can tinker around with that and produce. Um, so sort of a crafty version of the of the fight of a of a standard sort of American premium lager. So without further ado, let's crack it open. Let's get it in a glass, and let's see what it's like. Now you can get this if, if you're in the UK and you want to get a bottle of this or can of this, because um, they do sell it in bottles or cans. You can get it from Beer Hop, believe it or not. So if you'd like, to just click on the old Beer Hop website. And pick yourself up a can. I think it's about three quid a can. There we go. So first impressions. First impressions. It's clear. It's golden. It's plenty of carbonation. We've got a lovely two and a half finger tight white foam head. Let's get the aromas. Oh, the first thing it really hits me is a real citrusy sort of aroma. Really lemony, um, really refreshing. There's some, there's some hops there. Some sweet malts. You really, really got to get you know, to smell this beer. It smells wonderful. It smells citrusy, crisp, and lovely. So, without further ado, let's dive in and give it a try. Cheers. Tell you what, I'd like to know what my American viewers think of this, think of this lager themselves. But I'm going to tell you what, I'm really surprised at how good this is. It is crisp. There's a sweetness there off the malts. It's dryish at the back end. It is so, so refreshing. I'm actually gonna say, this is probably the best American lager that I've had to date. You get that you do get this sort of lemony, pithy taste with this beer, and that's what makes it refreshing. That's what makes it so different. That's what makes it so good. Oh. 
nice lacing you know it's don't get me wrong it's nothing like a German lager if you know if you're picking this up thinking it's going to compare to German lagers forget it you're picking this up to experience a refreshing good American lager and I think founders have, have nailed it you know you you Americans out there I bet this is great to sort of have when you're watching the game or with a barbecue on the beach on a hot day I think this is this is awesome I don't expect it to be that good but having to do a little bit of research on it earlier today it's actually got you know sort of quite a few sort of 90s out of 100s 9 out of 10s you know scores so you know people are obviously voting from thinking what similar to what I am on it it's just it's just an easy drinking great beer seeing what there's on the can to be honest you know you know the motto is you know memorable quality legendary taste and I think it just sums up this beer in one I'm really really impressed by it This would be brilliant for a barbecue. Really great. It's 4.4, .4, so you can drink lots of it. Um, I don't know what else more to say about this beer, to be honest. Um, it's just so refreshing it's zingy it's smooth what else can I say about this beer it's a cracker this is a beer to try before you die this is to get look oh everyone anyone in the, in the US of A you can probably pick this beer up on your local corner shop you know what I mean or down the supermarket it's probably easy to get hold of in the UK you can get it from Beer Hop. So look, go on, if you're from the UK, go on Beer Hop, get yourself get yourself a can of it. If you're in America, get down your local off, off license and probably pick up a can there. Um, a beer to try before you die. So look, um, get one, try it, see what you think. Leave me a comment below. Give me a big thumbs up if you like the review. Hit that little bell, get notified every time I bring out a new one. And of course, subscribe to the channel. And like I always say, beer is the answer, but I cannot remember the question. Thank you for watching. Good night. Wow. TT says, never play with matches, fireworks, and always drink responsibly. Wow.